this video, we're going to talk about the benefits of AI and the potential pitfalls and dangers of AI. Bill Gates has said that AI will bring in or usher in a three day work week, but also AI could achieve morally horrifying results. There's a great book I just finished reading and I highly recommend that you check out called Life 3.0 by Max Tedmark. It highlights historical events in the past. And if you want to learn about the future, study the past. History always repeats itself. I'll say that again. History always repeats itself. If you want to learn what's going to happen tomorrow, look at the past. Intelligent people know this. Study history. What can AI do for us as a society at this point? Well, it could eliminate 91% of all fatal traffic accidents. That's not too bad. We could even have robo judges to hand down court sentences that would be fair and unbiased. Because human beings, we always have biases and we sometimes can be unfair due to our point of view about certain things. We see this all the time now in the political arena between the different political parties and different ideologies where people are not being fair to one to another. By the way, this has happened throughout history over centuries and centuries. So it's nothing new. It's just maybe a little bit newer in this past couple of generations. If AGI, artificial general intelligence, were to dominate the world, according to the book of Life 3.0, it would do it in three phases. But the ultimate phase, the last phase would be that it would manipulate and deceive humans and then take over the world. And this is determined by if we learn to program AI to adopt, accept, and learn human goals. So that means that the people that program AI are the ones that actually have the power. Not you and me, not the politicians, not the police, not our security forces, but the programmers. So it's something we really, really need to take a strong look at because that means some guy who's writing code can insert a bias into the system so that the system will go have a tendency to go one way or the other. We already see this with Google and other search engines. And we're already seeing, we saw this the other day with, I think it was Gemini and Google, where it was generating some strange portraits of uh, George Washington. So you want to be aware, very aware that AI, we need to be wary of AI, but more importantly, it's not the technology is the problem. It's the human component is the, is the thing because I feel that I am smarter than you and therefore I'm going to program this thing to do things that I think are right. And that's wrong. Did you get my point? It might sound a little bit confusing. A programmer could decide, well, I believe this certain thing. And since I'm smarter than you, I'm going to program this AI to do what I think is right. But maybe what I think is right as a programmer is not right for the general population. You understand? So AI is a double-edged sword with many unknowns and probably more dangers and pitfalls at this point than advantages. If we learn to come up with a system to control our programmers and what's being inputted into AI, we have a much better chance of using this wonderful tool and technology that can benefit all of humanity. But it starts from the foundation, those people who are programming it. And that's what we need to regulate and we need to control. And if we don't get a grasp on that very, very quickly, we're talking within the next two to three years, we may not be going in such a great direction. If people think what happened in World War II was horrific, just think of what AI could do. I'm not making this video to scare you, but it is a reality. So there are problems. But there are opportunities. In fact, there's more opportunities than there are problems, provided we get control and we get a handle on the people that are actually programming the AI. That's the key. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to contact us if you want to learn more about communication skills and soft skills. And don't forget to get yourself a copy of that Life 3.0 by Max Tedmark. It really will open your eyes about what AI is all about and how it can benefit humanity and how it could perhaps really be a detriment to our advancement as a species.